Hey, welcome back to the Woke Nation podcast. My name is Ario De Juice, aka Juice. Um, let's waste no time. Let's check out a video of Candace Owens exposing Patrice Colors, the co-founder of Black Lives Matter. I'm gonna allow, not allow, but I'm gonna let Candace explain more on what's going on and how much of a scam operation BLM really is, and how much Patrice Colors is a liar and a evil person and needs to be arrested and thrown in jail with, along with the rest of them. Um, before we continue with the video or audio, um, I'm just happy to say I'm one of those people who knew from the very beginning that BLM was a scam operation. I didn't give them a penny. I'm one of those people who didn't give any money to Black Lives Matter because I knew it was a scam operation from the very beginning. It was so obvious for me. It's obvious for people like myself and Candace Owens. We could see right through the BS that BLM was indeed a scam operation from the very beginning. And I'm just so happy that I'm this person today who practice critical thinking and think for myself and could see nonsense and fakery when I see like Black Lives Matter organization, a scam operation. But let's jump right into this video of Candace Owen, um, give you more information on what's going on and how she is exposing Patrice Cullors as a liar and, a, and also a evil person from stealing money from people donating to BLM. Let's check out Candace Owens. Let's go. Okay, so this is insane. In real time right now, I am watching uh, Patrice Cullors do a live claiming that I went to her property and demanded to speak to her. Um, and she's, I, I, I only way I can describe it is she sounds like she's really scared. Um, we're working on a documentary talking about all the funding pertaining to Black Lives Matter. Obviously we know that Patrice and a lot of the founders purchased million dollar home, million dollar homes in white neighborhoods. Uh, they also purchased a Black Lives Matter property. So we went to the property and asked if there was anyone that we could speak to, very politely by the way, We've got cameras in tow, so there's no way she can, it's all on camera. And we just said, is there anyone we can speak to? Nobody asked us to leave. Um, the person went inside. It was just a white man that we saw outside that was providing security, which is super interesting because obviously Patrice here is anti-police. And so she's, oh my God, I think she's crying on this live, pretending that she was harassed. We, like I said, very politely to the guy, is there anyone we can speak to? Um, my name's Candace Owens. We never went over the gate. It was just me ringing the doorbell, trying to speak to someone. He said absolutely nothing. He started just recording us. And we said, okay, if there's no one we can speak to, we're going to leave. Um, Patrice is pretending to be scared because she knows that this Black Lives Matter lie is falling apart. Um, and she doesn't know what to do. I mean, people are aware of the scam that is Black Lives Matter. She's intentionally limited the comments. So you can't even comment on this post because I was going to comment and be like, this is a complete lie and we have it all on camera in terms of what happened. So what you are seeing right now is the face of a woman who is pretending she's afraid of right wing pundits when in reality, she's being exposed as a fraud who took millions, used the faces of black people, took millions of dollars to fund herself, to fund her lifestyle, to fund her girlfriend, and to buy million dollar mansions in neighborhoods where no black people live. So Patrice, um, this footage that we, this story that we're covering is a, a significant one. I have always been interested in the fraud that is Black Lives Matter, your fake tears, your crocodile tears about someone politely ringing your gate and speaking to your white security guard and, and asking if there was anyone that I could talk to because I was covering the story. Um, not really going to cut it, Patrice. This is only going to commit me further to discovering the truth about what you have done with this funding. Black people died. You used their faces to raise money. You demanded that the policing be stopped. You demanded that police officers be defunded, but you've got a private security detail um, outside of million dollar homes. It just doesn't work this way, sweetheart. So um, the truth shall set you free or Candace Owens shall set you free, girl, because I'm about to tell the truth. All right, we're still filming. Bye. I said before, um, I'm just happy that I didn't give them a penny. <laughs> I didn't give BLM a dime. No money at all came out of my pockets to support a fake um, organization to help better black people's future. Can't you understand? And I hope this really sink to a lot of people's brain, whoever you are. Before you consume anything from mainstream news or government, do your own research, which means practice critical thinking. Think for yourself. Just always do research before giving any money to anyone, any organization, do research because you'll be surprised in what you discover. You're going to discover a lot of scammers. 
trying to take your money, basically. And that's that is what BLM really is. Another scam operation. They tricked a lot of people. Not me. They tricked a lot of so-called black people by using their emotions to give them money. They had you become so emotional with whatever that they were talking about or protesting. They put that in your face and got you emotional, which led to you go went out and started protesting and vandalizing, giving your money and taking off work to go march in the streets for a scam operation. They tricked a lot of people. You got hustled again. You got hustled by another scam operation. And again, please do research before giving any money or your time to anything. Please. <laughs> It'll benefit you if you practice critical thinking. Think for yourself. But thank you very much to Candace Owens for exposing truth. Oh my God, I love this woman so much for just getting out this truth and exposing these frauds as they should be exposed for just being evil, just evil people. Evil, evil people stealing money from people by using you know, um, by, by, by using God, just, just using someone's emotion to just make you, make you participate in their nonsense and their scam operation. And it's, it's, it's evil behavior. It really is. And I'm glad she's, she's been exposed. And I cannot wait to see that, that documentary from Candace Owens of exposing BLM as a whole, a scam operation. I just hope more people, whether you're black or white, whatever, you see this video here or whatever, and you understand practice critical thinking or practicing that is so important like it's so it's just that serious because if you don't do this you can get scammed from other you know scammers like black lives matter they will they will get you because you're too you're just too emotional you're too gullible you're not doing research you don't know what's going on you just follow a trend because a celebrity like lebron or whomever says yeah we should all support black lives matter because i said so because i'm your favorite you know star or celebrity and other brands support the cause the cause as well that gets you all you know want to participate in this trend of being for blm when it's just a scam operation but again you wouldn't notice if you don't do research i knew it was a scam operation candace owens knew it was a scam operation a lot of so-called black people and other you know race we knew it was just it was just fake from the from the beginning because we practice critical thinking we do research and i was i already knew what they're trying to do it's always on the news it's, all, it's always in your face black lives matter people marching everywhere protesting protesting for what exactly and then they want you to they want you to give them money and where's the money going towards it went to someone's pocket and now now they want you to focus on these women patrice colors and her other scammer friends right they want people they, they want us to focus on these people when the the real people we should be focused on is the people who hired them to be the face of BLM. Do research, man. Does, does George Soros ring a bell to you? Do research. But thanks for watching this video or listening to this piece of audio. Uh, I'll be back with more episodes. Of course, um, make sure you check out our website, wokenations.com, wokenations.com. Uh, we have a newsletter available. Definitely, definitely consider joining the newsletter. We um, release content um, to all members of the newsletter monthly. So definitely do that if you want to stay up to date with the podcast, the YouTube channel, myself. And that's what's going on. So catch you on the next episode. Thanks for watching and, and listening. Excuse me, I can't talk today. Talk too fast. I'm trying to calm down because I'm just so passionate. Oh, seeing this being exposed and just seeing Patrice Colors and BLM finally begin be are being exposed and people are here to see it and they're gonna realize that they've been hustled. Hopefully that can Hope, hope that can help people do better, make better like the decisions because, again, you're not doing research. You're not doing any investigation before giving anyone your money and time. That's your fault. But hope this helps. Catch you on the next episode. I'm out of here. Thanks for listening and watching. Peace out.